Hola mi gente! Welcome to Tip and Tricks by Elena and Prisca. This is Tip and Tricks number two. Let's see what it's all about. So today we're going to do one of my favorite exercises. My uncle Marco taught me this exercise many years ago. Um, and I do it all the time, especially when I have to warm up before concerts. It's fantastic. Um, because if done slowly, it really warms up your hands quickly. And it's very beneficial for both the left hand and the right hand. It's good for the left hand because if you don't hold properly, it's really hard to do it right. It's good for the right hand for the agility of your walking fingers. I and M, but also for M and A. And we'll look about that later. First of all, what does the exercise look like? It's simply walking in diagonal, starting from position one, two, three, and making our way across the fingerboard, like this. You can get as far as you like. You can even go back, etc. Um, obviously, the trick is hook properly so that every time you put down a finger, you should never be touching the string below. So you can create the over ringing. If you see that you have. This is not the exercise, it doesn't work. All the notes should be ringing through. Uh, let's look at it a little bit uh, closely. Let's look at the left hand first to see how we do that. So, fret one, string one, finger one. Then fret two, string two, finger two. Fret three, string three, finger three. Fret four, string four, finger four. And then one goes to string four and you do the opposite motion. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Move one first and then the other ones. Our left hand and then you can go back as I said our right hand the first thing we should do is practice it with your walking fingers so just I am I am make sure that this hand is completely relaxed so uh, none of these playing with your fingers far apart because this is clearly not a relaxed hand super relaxed they should almost be touching together moving towards the palm of our hand and not towards out none of that inside the fingers should disappear inside but this is for another tip and tricks there is so much to say about the right hand once you feel comfortable doing it with i and m you can start with whichever finger you like then you can try it with M and A. And this is the real heart of the trick because um, when you practice for long enough with M and A and then go back to your normal walking fingers, you will be surprised by how much faster they can walk. So start with M and just go M, A, M, A. Once you can do both of these things, then we can have some fun and we can do my favorite thing in the world, which is change the rhythm. I do that all the time for technical um, exercises. I do it when I practice a piece, especially if there is a heartbeat, change the rhythm immediately. For example, dotted rhythm. Dotted rhythm, the other way around. So you can make it more funky. Triplets with the accents. And many combinations, all the combinations you can think about. As usual, my advice is 
take the metronome, start really slow, and then when you feel comfortable, you can slowly go up. Um, and if I were you, I would spend more time working with M and A than I and M. So, I hope you enjoyed this second tip and trick by me and Priska. If you did, please subscribe to my channel or follow me on Instagram. There will be many more tips to come. For now, se les quiere. Lots of love. Thank you for listening. Ciao, ciao, mi gente.